Hey guys, this is Sony Zekrom, and really quick before this video starts, I want to make a correction about something. So when I said there was three new recruits in dungeon in uh, old dungeons that we had recruited or uh, we had recorded before, there is actually a fourth one that I honestly completely forgot about. This is Scatterbug. Scatterbug is in Honeydrop Meadow, as you can kind of tell, and it is only floors 8 through 11. However, it is all time, so you will be able to um, find it any time of day that you want to. But yes, yeah, Scatterbug was also added into an old dungeon, but as a new recruit. So I wanted to make sure... And there it is, right over there. Right there. 33.7% chance. Let's go after it, I guess. But yeah, we'll make it 34.7 just because of the suit bell. Yeah, uh, there you go. I didn't get it, but I'm fine with that. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys really quick that Scatterbug is also in Honey Drop Metal and is one of those new recruits in, old in an old dungeon that I forgot to mention. So, I will meet you guys back when the actual video starts, so Q intro! Hey guys, this is Shiny Zekrom, and welcome back to another PMU video. In this part, if you just follow me, we're going to head off to Tanran Mansion. This is a dungeon that is kind of off the beaten path and is way up in the middle of uh, the upper part of Tanran. Now, over if you just keep following, you can walk across either one of these bridges, it really doesn't matter. It's just this one has a little bit of like... Yeah, it just says the old bri bridge creaks beneath your weight, splintering apart due to your weight, that kind of stuff. It's just to give you creepy vibes when you walk up. Alright, but anyways, here we are at the entrance. So, before we head in, I would like to make a couple recommendations. X-ray specs are a very nice item here, but I'm going to be using something called the Trap Scarf, which I think I've went over this before, but just in case... You evade traps when you equip the scarf. What's really nice about this is you won't the traps won't even show up on your thing. It will just be a little exclamation point as you walk over it. That's it. I also recommend, really, really recommend, having a ghost type on you. And that's because, let's enter and I'll tell you. So starting right off the bat in Tanran Mansion, you can actually find an item called the Mobile Scarf in the walls. It is a pretty rare item, and what this does is, it's basically an item that makes you a ghost type. And yes, I said that correctly. That item will make you a ghost type. How it works is, when equipped, the Mobile Scarf will allow the user, of, or the holder of the Mobile Scarf, to walk on walls, just like this, like a ghost. However, the belly will fall, just exactly like a ghost type. So, just be careful of it. It looks exactly like a stamina band, that pink um, item icon. That is what a mobile scarf looks like. And really quickly, we're going to just go over both of these right now. So, right here is a little chamber where if you use a mansion key, which I'll explain how to get that later. If you use a mansion key here, you can go to the next part called, or one of the other two parts you can get to via the Tanran Mansion called the Tanran Basement. You can find those kind of chambers on 1 through 5F. And if you use a mansion key on a chamber in floor 6 through 10, you are actually going to get... Um, what was I going to say? You can head into the Tanran Courtyard instead. But other than that... Um, on the beginning floors, basically, all that's really going to be recruitable is some of the common stuff like Ghastly, Spinarak, Misdreavus, Glamiao. It's like, right? Look, 29% Misdreavus, 32% chance of Glamiao. Spinarak is 37%. Yeah, there's just 
it's basically a bunch of stuff that's just recruitable on the beginning floor. So any of that kind of stuff you see, yeah, it's pretty much recruitable. The only thing that's on these kind of floors that is not recruitable, or I'm more than confident it's not, is Chimeco. If we see one, that is. But yeah, if we find a mobile scarf, that would really help my cause. Other than that, uh, there's not really much to talk about again until we get to kind of the upper floors. And yeah, as you see with that Glamial, Pokemon have a chance of spawning in the walls. Like that. Now, funny enough, we actually got a Reviver Seed, which is really nice. Also, you might see that I have this item called a One Room Orb. Um, a little tidbit about that. And I was right, Chimeco was not recruitable. But, a little tidbit about the One Room Orb is if you were 1 through 5 or 6 through 10, it will make it so you do not need a Mansion Key. I want to test this with one of the other parts. Because if I screw up, I'm going to have to, you know... If it doesn't actually work, I'll have to go back and get another mansion key and stuff, and I would rather not record me having to do that. So, yeah. What I would recommend doing is, I'll show you what I would personally do. If you really want a mobile scarf like I do, what I would do is throw on the x-ray specs, and maybe just when you're in hallways or something, so you can run around and be able to see a lot of your uh, surroundings. Because, in case you don't want that, there are going to be a bunch of PP0, grimy traps, all sorts of traps, pretty much. So that's why the trap scarf is really recommended here. Even if you lo have to lose vision because of it, I would highly recommend just bringing a trap scarf. But yeah. So as you can kind of see, we still haven't really seen a mobile scarf yet. I'm not going to get my hopes up for it, obviously, but... It would be really nice to find one. Otherwise, you can, of course, just buy one off of people, but who knows if they would want to sell one. That's the thing. All right. So we're going to do the trick again. Not seeing a mobile scarf anywhere just yet. Um, okay. We're going to drop this and pick up this ether so we can get our PP back for Heat Wave. Because always having AoEs is pretty nice in here because there's going to be a lot of like Pokemon that are using Spider Web or Mean Look. And then there's of course Confuse Ray. Ah, okay, this is perfect. So right before the end, this is the other chamber. If you use a Tanrin or a Mansion Key here, you'll be able to go to the Tanrin Courtyard. And that's what the uh, little chamber looks like. So, yeah. Okay. Now that you've seen that... Um, I think... Oh, ho, look at this! Another one room orb. I am going to take this. I had a feeling one room orbs were in here, but wasn't sure, but yeah. We're going to increase our vision again. Come on, no traps. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, there's also, like, spite and that kind of trollingness around here. So just make sure you're on your toes with what's going on. Um, we are going to warp. Wow, oh, I have PP for it. Okay. But yeah, by the looks of it, I am not seeing a mobile scarf, which is perfectly fine. I'll just try and find one, because pretty much if you get a mobile scarf, you honestly don't need a ghost type in your team. I mean, here's the kind of thing with the mobile scarf. With the mobile scarf... You can waste only one of your inventory slots at the cost of what? Not having one of your party slots get taken up, so it could be like a recruitment slot or something like that. So since we have two of these, I'm going to take a test. Yes! You really can do it. Oh my goodness. 
So yeah, there is that theory proven. If you use a one room orb, just like that, you can bypass the walls of the, um, what's we call it? You can bypass the walls of the chambers and you can run right through. So that's really cool. So yeah, now that we have one room orb, all we really need is just the one mansion key. So of course, once we hit 11F, it's gonna start getting tougher. Thank you for that heal pulse. And of course there's also grudge on some Pokemon here. It's just stuff of course is gonna get nasty. This is why, oh yeah, why I should put the trap scarf on. But yeah, that's why a trap scarf is really recommended. All these kind of things is to, are gonna happen at once and stuff like that. And of course any dark type TMs you see, pretty much it's gonna be embargo or taunt. So really, just don't get your hopes up at all. It's not going to be anything too great. The EXP in here, I would say, is like moderate. It's not really over the top, you should train here kind of thing. Just there if you want it. Yeah, we are just going to pretty much run at this point. Because most of the stuff I want to talk about isn't for a little while anyways. Alrighty, looks like we're doing okay so far. Yeah, as you can kind of tell, mean look is everywhere, spider web is everywhere. There are Pokemon with Confusery and that kind of thing, so pretty much everywhere you go, there is going to be something for you. And of course, as these words with the saw with the spin rack, those are, you know, still around and they are recruitable. But stuff like the glam meow is gone. Stuff like the spin rack is gone. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, that's another thing. That hunter over there used Destiny Bond. Yeah, make sure you are not trying to damage it when it has that up. Because otherwise, you're going to be met with a pretty bad time. Let's just say a lot of damage back at you to, with what you deal. Yeah, if I haven't mentioned it, the mansion is... Oh, wow, we found a dust stone on the floor. Just about as we're trying to talk about the floor as I find something good. Oh. That was bad. Okay, but thankfully we found an extra Viber Seed in, in here. And I brought along an extra revival herb in case as well. But, um, what I was going to talk about was, if I haven't mentioned how long Tanner Mansion is, it is 40 floors for this part. The other two parts I am going to go over when we actually, you know, get to them. Because why would I mention what floors they are here if I'm not kind of doing that dungeon? I like to focus on one. And as you can kind of tell, I'm still somewhat looking for a, um, whatchamacallit, oh, shoot, oh boy, this is not good, um, so let's wake up, thank you, yeah, this is not gonna be good, because our Houndoom, unfortunately, is cursed and yeah, just to wake up and everything, that's a lot of damage back at us. Now, oh, another Troll Orb. Sweet. Troll Orbs are always fun to use. Oh, and Hungry, so shoot. Okay, this is going to be a lot of damage, but, you know. Sometimes you just, you know, get the bitter end of it. There we go. Uh, let's get these two to walk out of the way, and then let's switch. Ah, there they are. We're going to make a run for it up here. Perfect. So, yeah. That's the kind of thing. Just be careful with Curse around here, because, yeah, it can do a lot of damage just out of nowhere. 
if you get unlucky with the uh, kind of damage it gives, because it can give, like, really low damage, to all of a sudden it could be dealing, like, you know, 31, like it was doing with me. And so I hit, you have to play around what happens. Because, yeah, if, I don't know about you, but if I'm cursed for 31 damage, I don't really want to attack. Especially when I only have 175 HP. So, yeah, if you see any question marks above my head, those are the traps that don't get activated, but are there. What I mean by this is, um, like I said, the traps go through, you will evade traps. You won't even have them show up. It'll just be a question mark above your head of where that trap would be if you didn't have a trap scarf equipped. Now, there are a couple ways to get the trap scarf. The trap scarf is an end box item from Snowvale Lair, as well as it is four, or 250 ECOP in one of the shops in the Tanrin Undercity Black Market. Or Dark Market, whatever it was called, excuse me. So, yeah, or you can always have, you know, buy it or somebody give you one. Something like that. Where are these stairs? There we go. And yeah. It's like for an example. Okay, the trap is here. Or was it here? There it is. So yeah. That's why it can be good. There are a bunch of grimy traps and all sorts of other traps around here. So I always want to be careful and that's why trap skirts are so useful. Oh, another reviver seat. Is that... Yep, that is the item Black Glasses, the one that increases the damage of dark tape moves. And we can find those around here. Hmm. I'm going to pick this ether up. There's something up there, and did I get... Wow. Unlucky. Now this Troll Orb actually, now that I think about it, would actually somewhat come in handy when we get to the thing and oh boy. And we found a monster house and we have no heat wave right now. Let's go. Oh wow. Oh my goodness, we're gonna, we're gonna, oh boy, we can't run for this. Go. You can do it, Houndoom. Go, run! Go. Whew. Yeah, as you can kind of tell. Oh boy, how much? Okay, 18 damage isn't half bad. Especially because our stairs are right over there. Yeah, we are going to remove that revival herb and put it in the front. Huh. Yeah, monster houses in here can be a pain, because spiderweb, pretty much you aren't getting out of that. Oh, red shard. Nice. I'm gonna pick that up, and we are going to head off this way. Let's see what we find. Also, yeah, as you saw with that Ariados, bug bite. It's another one of the reasons to be careful. That's why I love Houndoom. Not only does it have early bird to be able to wake up from like rest or sleep traps easier, but there's also the fact that it has a nerve as one of its abilities, which allows people to not, um... So it allows any bug buyers to stop bug biting. And yep, we found another one room orb. So now, if we want to play that game, we actually really don't even need a mansion key anymore. Now that we got two of these, and that's a spell tag, I believe. Yes, which increases our ghost type damage. Now, I may have written my information down. I don't think I did. But if I am correct, I may actually be wrong here. I'm going to search around real quickly. And of course, there are, uh, just to mention right now, there are no seeker rooms and there are no eggs here. 
So there's nothing for that to be worried about. So yeah, um, shoot. I had to... Come on, get out, get out, get out. Yeah. As you can see, that freaking... The spite is really getting to me right now. Alright, let's keep going. Is that what I think of this? Oh, I thought it was a... An item in the wall. I was like, what is that? Oh, nice, of course. Um, we're gonna over here. Nothing. See, I was right. It's not this floor. It's another floor I'm thinking of. Oh, it was a haunter. Yeah, let's go in. And yep, now Gengars and Chandelures start spawning. But, in a couple of floors, we will have a new recruit to be able to get. Right over here. Thirty-three. Because I'll actually have two things to talk about once we're on thirty-five F. Thirty-four. Pick this up real quick. Get rid of both of these. Get rid of the Sumbrian. All right. So starting on 35F, one new recruit that we have, hopefully if we get to see it, is Litwick. Litwick is only in the mansion part and only on floors 35 and above, which is 35 to 40. So that's why it may be nice to have your x-ray specs still on you, because you'll never know if you miss a Litwick or not, because you know you don't have x-ray specs equipped now the other thing is right here even though this doesn't look like it it is a silk chamber this is for your purple silk aka your ghost type silk and of course there's the casual items in there like a revivaler reviver seed lumberry you know like I said the casual and the usual stuff you find so yeah now with um, Litwick, it would be interesting to find one, but, you know, I'm not putting my money on that we're going to find one, because they are not an easy spawn. They are actually kind of rare. So that's why I kind of recommend trying to ha have x-ray specs for maybe the last couple floors, especially if you don't want to miss that silk chamber on 35F. Yeah. I'm just going to look over here. Doesn't look like it. And let's move on. So 37F, we're almost to the end. Just gotta go for a little bit longer. Um, got chandeliers and chime echoes galore. Did you kind of see Ghastly's and Glammeows are still around? Miss Drebus's are still around. Alright, we're on 38. I want to say, I think that, yeah, I thought so. That's a Reviver Seed under that. Oh, boy. Let's get these. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yep, it was the uh, Destiny Bond of that Gengar that really, really got me. And this is why I just recommend being as cautious as you can when going through this place. It doesn't matter what type you are. You will find troubles in here. Alright. We're on 39F, so we got this floor and one more and then we're done. We'll kill oh my god, of course I had to miss. <laughs> and that Miss Magic has unfortunately died to the burn. So we can get EXP for that. And like I said, we're almost to the end. Alright. 40F. We'll just run around. Ooh, 
That lag all of a sudden kicking in. Okay, we're gonna max ether up. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. The whirlwind trap actually helped us there. Get past all the spawns and stuff. What the? Why couldn't I attack? I clearly was not hit stunned, but yet I couldn't attack. That's weird. Hey, <sighs> we are going to. Yeah, as you can kind of tell, even in my level, which I recommend, by the way, being 60s when in here, kind of late, but. Your 60s are going to be what you want to be in here. Alright. Anyways, after 40F. Get out. Turn back. Leave this place. You do not belong here. Get out. Get out. Get out. And the fight with Rotom and a bunch of ghosts. Bayonet, Chandelier, Gengar. Two Chandeliers and Gengars and stuff. This boss fight is not easy whatsoever. Now, the only drop is the Rotom, and he will drop that. He, w This is the Mansion Key. This is that key that I was talking about that we needed in order to be able to get through to the garden and um, basement. Or garden, I meant courtyard and basement. So yeah, now that that's done, we have a Mansion Key, but we have two one-room orbs, so the key doesn't really matter. Alright, so... You can either hear, because you can't get through with a ghost or anything, you can either use your mansion key to get that one extra end box, or what you can do is have two or more people come to the end here, and what you do is one person, you have one that's not on the warp, and one steps on the warp and goes around and gets the box. But, here are the end box items that we can get. We can get a Shady Dust, which is your Ghost Type 1, Psych Dust, which is your Psychic Type, Dark Dust, obviously for your Dark Type, and that'd be nice to get, TM Dream Eater, TM Toxic, TM Taunt, Dusk Stone, Lumberry, Relic Copper, Relic Silver, Big Pearl, Vanish Seed, and there's one item that's said to be found in these boxes, but I don't know if it's been removed or not, is the Shadow Gem, actually. Which is your ghost type gem, and this gem, I uh, believe it's during like foggy weather and possible not status conditions. I'm not sure because I don't know the gems very well. So correct me with the correct information. So here we are going to, I think we're, yeah, we're six poke short. So let's take six out real quick. And at Zatu, we'll open them up. We got TM Dream Eater and a Vanish Seed. So not bad, but it could definitely be better loot. So yeah. But that is the Tanrin Mansion for you. In the next part, we are going I'm gonna show you how to enter and beat Tanrin Basement. Yep, the Tanrin Mansion trio of dungeons are gonna be three different parts on their own. And what I'm gonna do is for the Tanrin Basement and Tanrin Courtyard. I'm just going to get to a part where I find a, um, I find one of the chambers for one of the two. I'm just going to hit the stairs, and if I happen to see, um, one of the, uh, ways to get to either the basement or the courtyard, I'll use a one-room orb or use a key, and then we will do that next. I think what I want to try and do is I'm going to actually get Tanrin Courtyard out of the way next. No, sorry. I need to do Tanrin Basement next, because Tanrin Basement has something important for the Tanrin Courtyard. So yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for watching the Tanrin Mansion video, and in the next part, we are going to cover Tanrin Basement. See you guys then.